with her is far more complex. She was my sister-in-law. When she was captive on our island, I had sympathy for her. I tried to help her through those difficult times. And in return, she betrayed me, lied to me. Laura is a part of my past that I cannot control. But beyond that, we have no connection. Your grandmother speaks with great certainty. And her lies are often close to the truth. But do you honestly believe I could care anything for Laura Spencer after what she and her family have done to you? You see, Helena knows I have strong feelings for Catherine. She would like nothing better than to undermine our relationship. She feels that by planting seeds of doubt with you, she can somehow compromise the closeness the three of us share. Nicholas, I won't order you not to see your grandmother, but I will insist you know what she is. You stay clear as to her motives, and she won't be able to hurt you. I will always do what's best for you. You know that. Is Helena's yacht in port? Then find it. Hey, how you doing? Why are you here? Uh, to see you. Oh, well, I'm not in the mood, and I doubt that I will be anytime soon. Barbara, is this about Carly, or have you just decided to hate my guts in general? I don't hate you. Any more questions? <sighs> How's the little Weber girl? Why do you care? Oh, you don't hate me. But you've decided who I should be concerned about? You must have me confused with Luke Spencer. He's the one who goes around controlling people's lives, choosing what they know, reconstructing the past to fit his version of the present. You decide I'm better off without a daughter? Oh, my daughter's dead. You want Lucky to believe that his father respects women and hears when they say no? Then I guess what you did to Laura vanishes too. What are you saying to me? Congratulations on the revised version of your life, Luke. Just do me a favor and live it somewhere else. I don't like your tone, Barbara. What are you telling me? Are you saying that I should sit my son down and try to explain to him what happened between his mother and me a hundred years ago? You're insane! They say if you're not careful, you become what you despise. Well, you never could stand a hypocrite, Luke. And now you've become the worst I've ever seen. Your grandmother said you had the flu. I just wanted to reassure you that if you did take the morning after pills I gave you, the symptoms will be gone by tomorrow. You didn't talk to Lucky? No, not today. He's been really nice to me. So have you.
You seem like a pretty nice person yourself. Elizabeth. I know what it's like to have something so terrible happen to you that your whole body goes numb. You can't think about it, and you can't think about anything else. And the only thing left to do is take care of yourself whatever way you can. If you want help, I'm willing to give it. If you decide that you want to be examined or tested, I will make the arrangements, and it can be completely anonymous. I'm OK. OK. You have my phone numbers? Mm -hmm. All right. Call me. Any time. Elizabeth, take care of yourself. Great. Yeah. Did you read it? Uh, no, it was only addressed to you. Ah, my favorite kind. Yeah. Let me see here. Here you go. Elizabeth gave it back to me. How's she doing? How do you think? Not very good, that. She's afraid, you know. Not just of the guy, but she doesn't want anyone to know. It's almost like she thinks it's her fault. Oh, man. That was, that she was right, Jimmy. Well, you know, sometimes when really bad stuff happens, you search for a reason. And, you know, somebody to hold responsible, and sometimes the only person you can find is yourself. But she didn't do anything. Well, I'm not saying that. I, I know she didn't. I know she didn't. It's like she's just curled up inside herself, just so waiting for it to be over. She keeps saying she wants to forget about it, but she never will. I can't even forget about it. How is she supposed to? I mean, something like that stays with you forever. Oh, I don't know. Well, I do. Well, I gotta get back to work, so I'll see you later. Well, I'm glad one of us has got a job. <laughs> See you later. All right. Oh, hey, Aunt Bobby, what's up? <laughs> Oh, you were expecting maybe a Spice Girl? Oh, no, I thought maybe Elizabeth might show up. She make it to school? No, nah, I went over to her house yesterday to see her, and she wasn't doing so hot. I know. I stopped by, too. You saw her? What did you think? Is she going to be OK? Well, I didn't examine her, but I hope so. Did she say anything to you? Anything new about what happened? No. No, actually, she listened, mostly. She didn't confirm to me that she was raped, if that's what you're asking. This whole thing is... I still can't believe it. Bobby, what do you... What do you do when you know someone has been raped? And she says she's okay, but you can see that she isn't. And she won't let anybody help. You do exactly what you are doing. 
You just let her know that you're concerned and you want help. It's not enough. I mean, she just keeps saying she wants to pretend it never happened, but is that even possible? I don't know. I wish I had an easy answer for you, Lucky, but I don't. Except that Elizabeth might change her mind and decide that she does want help. Everything that I know as a nurse and from the treatment center tells me that we need to take our cues from her and not push, as difficult as that may be. I still wish we knew something about the guy. If she doesn't report the crime, there's no way we can go after him. I don't be so sure about that. Oh, please tell me. You are not thinking of hunting this man on your own. Relax, Aunt Bobby. I promise not to do anything crazy about the guy. Who'd you promise? Dad, okay. Well, you just happen to show up? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know how it is. Without your mother here with that dog collar on me, I tend to wander away. Yeah. Am I interrupting something? No, Aunt Bobby's just worried I'm gunning for the guy who attacked Elizabeth. Excuse me. Hey, Mr. Murray. Hey, Lucky. I just wanted to say that I um, uh, admire your courage. Thanks. Dad, what did you say to Elizabeth just now? Uh, nothing. I did. What did I say? I, I, I said, hang in there. Lucky, can you give me a hand in the kitchen? Be careful, Luke. This is Liz's problem. Don't make it about you and your past. What about Dad's past? For help or information about sexual assault, you can locate your nearest rape treatment center through your phone book or directory assistance. Well, it's too late to take it back. I already heard what you said. You told Dad not to make Elizabeth's problems about himself and his past, but that's not fair, Bobby. Do you really think I don't know what Dad's done? Ticked because Dad didn't tell you about Carly. Now you're trying to get back at him by throwing every bad thing he's ever done in his face. But you're dead wrong. Okay, Cowboy, that's enough. <laughs> no, obviously Lucky thinks I'm wrong about you, and I would like to hear what he has to say. I know that Dad has done some things that have made a lot of people in this town really angry. Like making it look like Mom and Grandma had died to save him from the Cassonites. But none of us are sorry for that. Least of all, my father. Because he will do whatever it takes to protect the people he loves, including you, Bobby. Now, this, this thing with Carly, I mean, it, it wasn't meant to hurt you. It was meant to protect you. Dad has no reason to feel guilty about anything he's done to anyone. That's what I have to say. Do you understand? I think I do. Okay. Thanks for the vote of confidence. But, you know, Bobby has uh, a right to her point of view. Wait, I know, but she's wrong. Well, whether she's wrong or right, it's what she believes. I want to go check on Elizabeth.
He paints quite a portrait. How does it feel to be a hero? Dad, if I can't find Elizabeth, Sarah must have taken her home. Well, that's probably where she I, I should know be. I can't do anything to fix what happened to her. All right, but I'm, I can't just sit around and hold her hand and pat her shoulder anymore. I need to do something. Now, I'm going back to the park where it happened. I want to find her bracelet. You want to partner up with me or not? was ripped and dirty. I was carrying her shoe. Look on her face, Dad. This is where it happened. This is where I found her. see it on your face. It's sick. Uh, let's do what we came to do. was so clean and after what happened we'll never be clean again if I would have the slightest idea that this gift would have upset you I would no, I, I never no, would have I'm not upset on the contrary it means a great deal to me Good. You have me worried. You know, it's ironic. This is my baptismal day. And no one has ever marked it with a gift except Alexis. I love this spot. Because it reminds me of Greece. I can't tell you how many hours I spent there gazing out at the water. I've always been fascinated by the sea. You can know it, but never control it. Perhaps that's why men refer to the ocean as she. Tell me, does your sea remind you of the women you've loved? In my life, I've loved only one woman. Water, have you mesmerized yet again? Yes. That and this beautiful bench you've given me. I've spent so many hours standing here, you knew that. Thank you. I'm glad I could give you something that would bring you such pleasure.
Sometimes a winter sunset is the handsomest. The way the colors paint the snow and ice. May I sit with you? You like this spot? Yeah. Does it remind you of some place you used to know? Back home, the bench on the bluff, overlooking the water. I wasn't sure you'd remember. I would, uh, I would take you walking there. We'd, uh, throw rocks. Into the sea. That's right, we did. Yeah. Nicholas, something you may not have known. Your father would meet your mother there. At that very spot. For what purpose? So father wouldn't know, wouldn't see anything. This is the picture your grandmother paints of me. Of course, she knows you can't rebut her. She was there, you weren't. And as I'm sure she said herself, looking the very illustration of honesty and fair play, what reason would she have to lie? I know she hates you. She has no goal but to make you distrust and disrespect me. She has nothing to live for but the day when you will cast me off. I'd rather have my mother than yours. Indeed. So, what were the details of Helena's accusation? She must have given you reasons, something sounding like fact. Well, reasons that you, you were at Laura Go. Where? North Carolina? She's, why, why we're here. In point of fact, you came to Port Charles against my wishes and have repeatedly refused to leave. You still think her, think of her. When? If I thought of Laura, if I longed to see her, all I had to do was call Switzerland when you were injured. She knew. She knew and didn't care. Not true, Nicholas. I have admitted to you I was wrong to ever make you believe your mother had no feeling for you. She does. Maybe hate. She hated my father. Who told you that? Helena? Luke? Lucky who? Whoever said it lied. his his prisoner he took her he took her from her own home yes but did you ever hear Laura say she hated him no no see this is what Luke and Lucky must believe like children they depend on certain mythologies yes 
Laura was a captive on the island. And the truth is, so was your father. What sort of life he might have liked to have led, we'll never know. His role in the family, his need to control Mad Helena, he was a prisoner of his birth. As are we all. Though most people die deluded, believing they were free. Falling in love was the last thing he intended. I was there. I saw what I saw. I know what I know. You were a child of love, Nicholas. And that is Laura's last, most desperate secret. Yes. How do you like it? It wasn't done from life. Unlike the first. I think it shows, don't you? On the other hand, I think the artist is better. More mature. You can see it in the brushwork. The other was destroyed. Yes. Then why is this here? Surely you don't want it upstairs above the mantel, like the other one. No. I didn't think so. That's why it's here. After Laura's supposed death, I had this new painting commissioned. I thought it might be a comfort to you someday. Naturally, after it was completed, I knew you wouldn't want it. So I thought I'd let some time pass, see how you felt about it. It was for me. To whom else would it have any meaning? Just leave it down here. Hey, good afternoon. I got to put away three chapters of modern European history. Can you believe that? Then I got to do this thing on Silas Marner. Who? I don't know, some old sailor I don't care about. You know, this mind-reading thing of yours can be real annoying, Dad. Really? <sighs> What's up, son? Bad day at uh, campus? No, not for me. Elizabeth came back to school. Well, that's a good thing, isn't it? Who knows? She won't talk about it. You know, she hasn't even gone to the police. That's her choice. Yes, I know. But, Dad, how can I help her if she won't talk about it? Maybe you can't help her, Lucky. Maybe you've done everything you can, for now. You're the guy who found her when she was most vulnerable, and you took care of her. And maybe right now you're the last guy she wants to talk to. Okay. All right, maybe I can't help her that way. But you know, there is something I can do. And I bet you'd mean a lot to Elizabeth. Okay, what is it? I can find the guy that did this to her. But I'm gonna need your help. Okay, look. Did Elizabeth ask you to find the guy who... <sighs> Did she? She didn't have to. You know, she took a little getting used to. But I tell you, the thing I liked about her the most from the start was that she had guts. More guts than brains sometimes, but 
I never saw her back down from anything or anyone. And now, she's somebody else. <laughs> she walks around all quiet and alone. Like she doesn't want anyone to notice her. But then any, any, any noise or sudden movement in it, and she jumps out of her skin. And she looks around all embarrassed. She just disappears again. She's afraid. I've never seen somebody so afraid in my life. So I figure I can give her one last thing to be afraid of. The thing that scares her the most. The man who raped her. Look, I don't want you going one on one with this guy. That, I mean that's it. That's why I came to you. I'm no expert. He's still out there, Dad. And he's gonna do it again unless he's stopped. You know, I don't get what makes a man think he has the right to turn somebody inside out. So I'm asking you, Dad, will you help me? this guy could do that to Elizabeth. Well, maybe there's no way you can't understand it. Look, there are some things, uh, the more you look at them, the more bizarre they become. Do you think the guy knew Elizabeth? Uh, I don't know. I, I think that at that moment, it didn't matter who Elizabeth was. He, he was out of control. You know, I, I keep imagining it. Elizabeth walking where she had every right in the world to be. And these hands just grabbing her, pulling her into the bushes, dragging her in. She didn't have a chance. Do you know the worst part, Dad? She feels ashamed about this. She didn't do a damn thing. And she feels ashamed. You know what else I don't understand? What did the guy get out of it? That he had to hurt Elizabeth to get it. How can any man do this to any woman and go on living with himself? Go on living it all. What? Why, why are you looking at me? Why are you looking at me like that, Dad? I'm sorry, Lucky. I, uh... Well, your question got to me. Like the big questions do. Look, son, this is not about men. This is about one man and what he did to one young woman and being men it doesn't give us special insights into this one guy see sometimes it makes you even dumber because having power and influence you take it for granted maybe and sometimes you you don't always show wisdom or restraint but this happened and I don't know why it happened. But it happened to Elizabeth, not to you. And no matter how, how much you feel it, you cannot take this experience away from her. I know her. that, Dad. Okay. Do you know that, really? Do you know that enough to let her decide what to do next? She is confused right now. All I'm saying is, is maybe she needs someone to tell her what to do for no, right no, no, now. No, 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 no. She doesn't need somebody to hijack her life again. Don't you see? What she needs is she needs to run the show called Elizabeth Weber. And if that means that she needs to deny that any of this ever happened, then you have to let her do that, and you have to respect that. So Elizabeth is in pieces. And this guy gets, what, a get-out-of-jail-free card? Dad, that is wrong! 
nobody should do what he did and get away with it. Nobody. The man who raped Elizabeth will be punished. Lucky you have to believe that. It'll be cause and effect or momentum Dad, or karma. Dad, I'm not talking that kind of punishment. I'm talking about bars and chains and bread and water. After that, if he wants to throw in a guilty conscience, no problem. This is turning into quite a crusade for you. Why not? Elizabeth is a good friend. You know, maybe she wasn't at first, but... She's funny. <laughs> she makes me laugh. And she's so bad at hiding how she feels, it's almost like being honest. I should have just gone to the dance with her, Dad. I told her I would meet her Look, at the I dance. know where you're going with this. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear it. Dad, I just should have kept my promise. Look, don't do that. Don't ever take another man's crime as your own. There is one man responsible, one predator. It's not you, it's not Elizabeth, it's not even my fault. And if it hadn't been her, lucky it would have been some other young woman who didn't deserve it any more than she did. Are you gonna feel guilty about her too? Just this one guy, this one coward, he is responsible, the man who used your friend to feel better about himself for one insane moment in his miserable life. Yeah, so the guy just gets away with it. You know how sick I am of this? It just... I honestly don't know what to do. But, okay. If Elizabeth doesn't want me to bring the guy down, then I guess I'll try to build her up. Yeah, I think she'd appreciate that. You know, as long as you don't, uh... Expect uh, gratitude or expect her to do what you want her to do because, Lucky, she has got to find her own way out of this nightmare. You know, I just hope I always treat women the way you've treated Mom. I hope you do a lot better. Seeking me out. Does this mean we're making progress? Actually, I'm looking for Lucky. Oh, I can't help you, darling. Try Elizabeth. Mm. Speaking of progress, I convinced Liz to go to the hospital for a blood test and a pelvic. It's not great timing as far as forensic evidence is concerned, but at least she'll know what she's dealing with medically, and she may get a break. Good. Uh, so, being checked out kicks this up into a police matter, doesn't it? Mm hmm She knows. Yeah. Well, maybe that'll make Lucky feel better. Right now, he just wants to get his hands on the guy. But knowing that the police are looking for him, maybe that'll help. Is something wrong? No. my kid. He's taking this really hard, Barbara. I just keep hearing him over and over in my head. He's so outraged that his friend was attacked and nobody pays. Uh, I'd like to broach something. Don't bite my head off, okay? It's just a topic for conversation. Preferably between you and your wife, but since she's not here, I guess I'm it. Do you think that now might be a good time to tell Lucky 
about what happened between you and Laura. Have you lost your mind? No. But what if you lose your son? It could happen, you know. Oh, I don't think so. Secrets have a way of tripping you up, Luke. Especially the ones you thought were dead and buried. And sometimes the older the secret, the bigger the wallop. Don't you know that by now? Don't we all? I'll tell you what I know by now, Barbara. It serves no purpose for my son to hear that his father raped his mother a million years ago. Why would I hurt him like that? It's none of his concern. Ordinarily, I would agree with you, but... Well, but what? Lizzie! Lucky is up close and personal with a rape victim. I mean, suppose it does come out, and he didn't hear from you first. You run the risk of him never forgiving you. I don't ask forgiveness. Oh, well, whatever, you know. This isn't really about you. This is about Lucky. You know, Luke, to have the kind of trust that you two share is really a gift. And you have to protect that. And ordinarily, I would agree with you. If this subject hadn't walked across your living room on Lucky's arm, then yeah, you're right. There would be no reason to ever have to lay this on him. But it did. That's my opinion. I'm out of here. Tell you, Dad, there's one thing I've learned. Rape doesn't go away. I saw Elizabeth at Kelly's on her way to see the doctor, finally. Yeah, Bobby came by. Well, she's going to the doctor. That's what you wanted, isn't it? Well, it's the right thing for her to do for the sake of her health, but her mind's another story, Dad. That guy had no right to take her spirit. He didn't even know her. I mean, not, not that knowing her would make it any better. I just... Seems like it would make it make it worse. I mean, somebody you trust. Dad, are you even listening to me? Yeah. I'm listening. Dad, are you with me? You seem kind of spaced out. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm here. I'm here. I'm driving you nuts, right? All I ever do is talk about Elizabeth and what happened. You, you want me to chill? I don't think you can, Shell, son. It's complicated. It's, uh, terrible. And you're in a bind. You want to help. You feel helpless. You feel useless. Maybe there is nothing you can do. I wish I could make it easier for you. Well, maybe I'm the one who should make it easier on you. Me? Dad, we both know the same thing that happened to Elizabeth happened to Mom. What exactly are you talking about? Well, I was running our conversation back in my mind, you know, about what kind of man just grabs a girl and, and then takes her like that. And suddenly it hit me. I know people like that. I mean, in a way, I've known them all my life. The Cassidy's dad. <laughs> right. You know, Mom told me that I would never understand what she went through on that island. We both know how Prince Nicholas came to be. But it's like I said, you know, I mean... Mom had the exact same experience Elizabeth had, only worse. Because she couldn't leave. I mean, she was forced to stay there against her will and have this... this child by the man who... see Elizabeth, and when I see how she's hurting, and I put that hurt into Mom, I don't understand how she can even look at Nicholas. There's no explaining your mother's heart. Ain't that the truth? There, every time you see me, I'm just rambling on about Elizabeth and what happened. It's just a constant reminder. I'm sorry, Dad. You could, you know, if you were just tell me to shut up, <laughs> just go ahead. Okay. You ever want to 
talk about anything. It's... I know. Thank you, cowboy. I'll see you at home. I'm off duty. And I need a drink, so share. Well, since you put it so nicely, why not? Prost. Yeah. It's a matter of bad day. Ultimately, it's uncomfortable. Translation. I um I went to the hospital with Elizabeth, you know, for that exam that I was telling you about. And... Oh, I don't know. You know, when I was there, I just got hit with all this stuff. I mean, I, I felt good to be there with her, you know, I mean, because I felt like I was helping her, and I felt like I was really being a, a positive influence, and I never got a chance, you know, to be that with my daughter, so. But at one point, I looked at her, and it suddenly struck me just how young she is. I mean, teenage girls ought to be talking on the phone smacking gum with their girlfriends dishing boys and instead elizabeth ended up on that table and i ended up on my back and that got me thinking about my first gynecological exam when i found out i was pregnant by a john and then it got me thinking about all the lies i told myself back in those days when i was desperately searching for some kind of meaning in life trying very hard to get through the next day without choking on self-disgust. Why do you want to go there, Barbara? The past is the past. It's dead, it's done, it's over. Buried in stone, finito. I mean, the only thing you can get by going back to that trough is more leftover garbage. The past is not over. Don't you see that? It's lurking and it's hiding, and it's ready to pounce just when you think everything is safe. And that's exactly what's happening to you right now. Well, it's my past, Barbara. Not yours. And not Lucky's. And there is no good reason for me to hurt my son with ancient history. I won't do it. I'll never do it. Drop it. He was just here. He's uh, still got Lizzie on the brain. He's having a terrible time with this. He's taken a walk through his mind. He's gone into the past, and he's come smack up against his mother and the Cassidines. I don't understand. Well, it's sort of like you, Barbara. He's looking for meaning. He's looking for sense in something that will not make sense. And he's drawn a parallel between the man who raped Liz and the man who raped his mother, Stavros. I see. Do you? Do you see, Barbara? I hope so. Because what happened between Laura and me is not the same. Not the same as Liz. And certainly not the same as Stavros. I will not be judged in my son's eyes by those standards. Luke, you are one of only two people who can tell him it was different. And the other one isn't here. I don't know why that... Don't go there. Me. Okay, okay, God forbid. Look, I have said my piece. And you have said yours. You'll make up your mind. I did, it's done. Fine. Thanks for the drink. Anytime. You really are infuriating, you know that. But you love me anyway. Yeah, but I wouldn't if you weren't my big brother. Oh, I don't know, Barbara. I have a certain rattlesnake-like charm. You're the one that pointed it out. You too. See you. Bye.